Get ready, get ready, get ready. Today is Wednesday. It's the second Wednesday of the month. And we are here today with Let's Talk Business with Cheryl J. Cuso. Yeah, we're trying to get our Facebook live going. So those of you that enjoy tuning in will have the opportunity to do so. Yeah, there's no such thing as dead air on the radio. So we are, if those of you who are traveling around in the Tampa Bay area today, then you already know what the weather is. So Dr. Jenny Davis is on her way. We want her to just take her time and and getting here. But you know what time it is. It's August and August brings to us National Black Business Month. And today we are excited to be able to celebrate National Black Business Month. We are excited to shout out businesses in our community, businesses that we want the community to sponsor, and we're going to be doing that. You know, this is the show, Catch the Show, where we will be all up in your medical business today, but not so much in your business, but bringing to you medical practitioners Many of you will recognize their businesses and others. We will be introducing new businesses to you. And that's what it's all about. We do have a large number of African-American practitioners here in the area. So as we are awaiting Dr. Davis to come in, yes, the doctor will be in the house momentarily. Hey, Facebook family, I see someone popped on. Thank you so much. Oh, that's Theorem. Theorem has been one of our supporters from the very, very beginning. And I can actually pause today and say kudos to Let's Talk Business with SJC. We are now, this is six months on the air, and we have been sharing with you a lot of businesses in the Tampa Bay and surrounding communities. So when we're talking business, it's really providing information to you, whether it's from a business perspective or organizations that we support. Because it's National Black Business Month, we are celebrating the power of 31. And that's 31 ways in 31 days. We're asking you to spend $31, you know, with one of our Black-owned businesses. And that's what allows our community to grow. And it allows us to thrive and survive. And it's important. It's important to know who those businesses are. DSI Black Pages for over 25 years now has been bringing to the community, the Tampa Bay area, a listing of those businesses. And and I'm just fortunate to be on a campus where there's over 30 Black-owned businesses here. It's It's a community. It's a village of businesses. And so joining me in the studio again, hello to our Facebook family. While Dr. Davis is getting herself situated, each day we try to make sure we're representing a number of, look at this smile. <laughs> so I'm going to kind of turn just a little bit so you all have to see her. Oh, she's already got yes. her phone. Oh, she came in with her phone Absolutely. on Facebook Live. But National Black Business Month. Hey, girl. How you doing, Cheryl? Blessed and highly favored I am. Okay, thank you. As you are. Yes. And beautiful as always. This is this is our queen here. Uh-uh, and I you. just I just love her so and <laughs> she has just been such an, an, an inspiration to me in more ways than she will ever know. And that's why the knowledge that we share with you and in a special way that she does it, I'm telling you all, she has a way of breaking that thing down. And I love now, I was just telling our radio listening audience, we've been doing this for six months. Oh wow. Yay, where's that applause? Yay, where's our applause? Yay. <laughs> so we've been, <laughs> there you, go. you heard it right here on In Touch News yes, Radio. Yes. And and what a blessing in itself that sometimes I can be out in the community and people will say, oh, I caught your show. And oh, I like, oh, I like the way she breaks things down. I love that. I love hearing that. I love the fact that um, people are now coming to your office and having conversations about you and what they hear and what you share on the radio. Indeed, we have to meet people where they are. Um, it's not 
uncommon for uh, people to, you know, minorities and even, you know, people that are not minorities to go to their health care provider with their common complaints, with their um, standard issues that uh, we may hear on TV or that we feel and just may not have the words to describe. We give them to our health care provider and our health care provider comes back with a lot of medical jargon and we nod and we take the prescription <laughs> and we move on in a in the exact same place that we were when we I know, right? came into the office. So I want to do what I can with this platform and with you. Um, I heard what you brought to me and to the degree that I can help make our community and whomever's listening more yes. aware, more prepared, give them the tools that they need to take to their healthcare provider to have a conversation, not on a medical jargon level yes. but um just the power to say hey doctor hey nurse practitioner i don't understand that can you break that down for me can you say that a different way what part of my body is that to help to make our um the consumers of health care more engaged in their own visit so that they get the answers that they were seeking when they went in that they are able to ask the right questions when they go in and you know give them tips on how to go in more prepared to have that engaged conversation when you pay your copay. When you pay your copay. And, and the thing about it is when we do go in prepared, um, and I always like to make sure I carry a, a, a journal when uh, I'm yes. taking care of a loved one yes. because I don't want to miss asking the, the right questions uh -huh. that I may have um, come up with maybe from the last visit, but more importantly, asking them to 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 slow down so that we can um, have an intelligent conversation mm -hmm. so that I can go back with my loved one and we both understand what the practitioner is explaining to us when you talk about the jargon. But one of the things that I love about you in using this platform is how you break it down. Well, um, again, it's like speaking a different language sometimes. Um, and even standard English is when you're talking about certain body systems and things like that, they still don't know what you're saying. So you have to meet people where they are meet if you're gonna get are. meaningful outcomes. And also in this value-based healthcare system, I don't wanna get too um, far in insurance because that's just not what this particular show is about today. We can answer those questions on a, on another day. But <laughs> we'll shout out. Yeah, but if you, um, I don't understand like how the system um, works. It's hard to say, wow, um, doctor, I need a little bit more time and their hands on the door. And, um, you know, to have your doctor just break things down, like I said, you know, in, 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 in that way. So um, to speak with um, providers that you're comfortable with, to go in and understand that that relationship is one that you pay for, um, it's important that you take advantage of that. Now um, we're responsible healthcare providers um, for our outcomes. We have to make sure that you know patients have good blood pressure, have good blood sugar. They're actually even satisfied with care. We have to make sure that you don't come back to the hospital within 30 days of your oh, discharge. Girl, been there, done that. So to make sure that we're seeking um, good outcomes is a responsibility of the healthcare provider and having a meaningful conversation, a dialogue, uh, an information exchange is a way that the healthcare providers can um, go towards um, that goal because it's now affecting our bottom line. It's affecting the bottom line, but at the same time, you do want you, you do want that that consumer to to know exactly what's going on. We, we hope so. We hope we so. Hope so. Which we brings so. us to which brings us to. Give us that applause line. Yay! Gonna put her over there on the <laughs> control board. We need a button over here. So just to reiterate, we're kind of shifting a, a, a little because the information we want to share with you is how to connect with other medical practitioners mm -hmm. in our community mm -hmm. as we celebrate Black Business Awareness Month. Woo, 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 woo. <laughs> and so and, 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 and this is this is very, very important because even outside of the of the medical field, we're just making an appeal to the importance of us as consumers mm -hmm. to make sure that we're investing our dollars back in our communities. Perhaps you've moved out of of a more traditional community, but there's still valuable businesses there that need to to survive. We have a, a group of businesses right here on the campus of 5508. And I must say, when guests come and they're on the show, and even if they're just coming to, to visit or to conduct business, I love taking them around on the campus. But more importantly, and she's a great example of this, and I'm not saying this because she's here on the show, but she practiced what she preaches. She visits the businesses here. 
I do visit the businesses. And, and I appreciate the fact that you carve out a segment of time for traveling to get to the show. Mm-hmm. When you're here, we review the show, go over some things, but you always make a point of visiting one of the small businesses here. And that's really what it's all about. And that's what we're trying to communicate and convey to our radio listening audience about National Black Business Month. So, Yeah, um, our economic power is powerful. Oh. And um, this is our medical um, week. Correct. But um, just to, you know, segue just a little bit on the power of a dollar, not just a black dollar or a white dollar or Spanish dollar, but the dollar in itself. This is how um, businesses, large and small, um, keep themselves viable, keep themselves um, Mm -hmm. relevant. And if you have paid attention in this um, charged um, political um, environment, over the past, you know, two and a half years, when was change made? You know, when did someone apologize what made them you know shift Mm -hmm. um what initiated some type of change in practice behavior standard etc it was when maybe advertising dollars were taken away it was when um non-support or some type of boycott um, occurred um even in um um, parkland in south florida when we had the very unfortunate high school um shooting on valentine's day um you know about 18 months ago when we had, you know, you know, an effect on the businesses um, not saying anything. When those students, you know, called out. Um, That's right. You Certain know, those organizations that could make an impact or weren't doing enough. Um, that's what um, really sparked the conversation, um, and 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 informed some of the um, um, local and um, national um, conversations on on those things so um so that takes us to coming right here and now we both are small business owners we are and and we have um consumers that come to us and all of them are not african americans we do appreciate those that do investor dollars in in our community and that's what we're celebrating with with national black business month and the bottom line I was talking on the show last week and we kind of mentioned Prime and how now in our neighborhoods we Mm -hmm. see these Mercedes Benz going around with a smile and packages being delivered all during the day. And for those businesses that perhaps are not able to cross over or become um, a partner with them, they still need our support. Many of them have websites and many of them are online and so we use this month to, to bring awareness to them. But because it's our all up in your medical business day and your medical business show. Indeed. Let's talk about some medical practitioners. Well, I I love that you mentioned that, you know, we all need support. Yes. But not just because we need support. It's awesome to support uh, black business and all business. But when your business has something special, minorities are disproportionately affected by some of the most expensive um, chronic um, diseases that keep people in the hospital, have people run into the emergency room, um, have people um, concerned and asking lots of questions, um, things like diabetes, heart disease, um, you know, quality of life issues, erectile dysfunction, and um, sexual health after, you know, menopause and um, heart attacks and strokes and um, cancer, all of those types of things. And then you have nutraceuticals coming out and um, considerations towards holistic approaches to health care. So we have black businesses that are, you know, awesome at, you know, these these things and that can answer your questions and also that can speak with um, persons that are at um, high risk in a way that is um, receptive and understood yes. and that in a way that meets Speak them where they are. And certainly um, your best you, Personalized Primary oh. Diabetes Specialty Care. Yeah, I heard it right here. my business. Uh, we do just that. And this is why we um, have the outcomes that we have. Um, one example, I had a patient uh, come to me because her brother said, hey, my brother said, you know what you're doing. The brother had diabetes for a long time, um, just so happened to have some complications, and quality of life was taking a downturn, um, heard about Your Best You, came there, and uh, more or less, I turned his 
life around in just a few months um, because I understand diabetes and my approach is, is different. And you understand the culture yeah. in which you're serving. Yeah, um, but sometimes it was just complicated. This gentleman had dialysis and, and eye problems and um, had been in the hospital. And um, one of the myths that you know sometimes people hear is once you go on insulin, you can't come off um, insulin um, when unfortunately it's just that providers just never take them off because of time reasons or they don't understand the disease process unfortunately and just just things happen um, when you're first diagnosed with um, diabetes sometimes the sugar is so high that the body just goes into a shock mode and it doesn't do anything to help you out so we have to do some aggressive things like insulin um, up front but once you know the body kind of catches back up and says oh okay the sugar is not so high it's just a, okay. a little bit high things sort of kick back in and we can change the way we're managing the patient and still get um, good outcomes because when your body's making insulin itself and then you're taking insulin you're actually at um, greater risk for injury and low blood sugar etc cetera, etc cetera. but that's not this show he brought um, the success of his management to his sister's attention she came to me on again all <coughs> insulin all insulin and a pump and she didn't look like the normal type one um, people feel like type people that have type one diabetes or um, I know what it is but break down to our audience so they'll understand what is type one diabetes there are different types of diabetes Correct. type one diabetes um, comes about from an autoimmune phenomenon this means your immune system gets confused and develops antibodies that um, stops your body from being able to make insulin on its own and for the today. most part th these people have to take insulin for the rest of their lives either um, by self-injection or through a pump or other means or get another pancreas because you can't live without insulin with type 2 diabetes you can be completely done with making your own insulin because your pancreas just wears all right. the way out but in most cases you can make some insulin but just not a hundred percent of what your body needs and there are other factors like if you gain a lot of weight you know, just like if you got a big car, you're going to need a lot of gas to get that car around. All right. Um, good analogy. If you're smaller, you can get by on just a little bit of gas. When you have a big body and you have type 2 diabetes, there's this phenomenon called insulin resistance. This means that your body essentially resists the insulin that you make, and it takes more to do the same job. It takes more insulin to stay healthy in someone that has insulin resistance than it does when less insulin resistance is there so if you lose weight you lose resistance and you can get by on you know fewer medications Love so that. um this person looked like a someone with type 2 but because she was on all insulin for whatever reason her providers thought she was type 1 um she comes to me on an older pump um i say all the time i just pretend to be 20 so <laughs> I've been managing diabetes for um, a long time, so I'm very familiar with some of the early iterations of um, insulin pumps, and this one was old. It, yeah, so, <laughs> just old. Right, it was it was old, and because she thought she was type one, when patients come to me, I always test. There's certain antibodies and ways that you can test in the blood to see if someone's type 2 or type 1 or what have you because the type of diabetes and how we manage it has nothing to do with how it comes about. Um, it has everything to do with what's going on. Type 1, again, is autoimmune. Type 2 is not. So because this person uh, was thought to be type, type one, 1, we had to test. Sure enough, she was type 2. So that meant not only was she in an insulin deficiency, there are about seven other phenomena that are unaddressed that could help um, keep her in control. Her A1C, oh. which is like a diabetes report card, right, the right. number needs to be like under seven. Um, that number was um, somewhere between 11 and 13. Mm. In three months, her number was six something. Yeah, um, but this was e. easily because those seven other things weren't addressed. Why didn't the other providers address it? I think almost it's either a time or knowledge deficit um, thing. But um, this woman in, let's see, it's been, it's been seven months since I've managed her now. I've had to, okay. um, her total insulin dose when she came to me was about 90 something units a day. Now she's barely at 20. That's just phenomenal. That's a significant reduction in the amount of insulin that she takes. But not only that, she's lost about 35 pounds. Oh, congratulations to you. <laughs> yeah, congratulations to her. And it was really 
adjust, I mean, addressing the entire syndrome, S-Y-N, meaning a bunch of stuff right. together, of diabetes versus just the insulin deficiency. So that's yeah. me and... Well, yeah. hold on before you, you go any further, because that, that's a phenomenal story. Uh-huh. And that's what our radio listening audience need to hear okay. and the approach that you take mm-hmm. when you are um, talking to your patients and helping them, helping them to understand the whole picture of what's happening in their body. So this is Reality Radio. It Reality is Radio. a call in show. The number is 813 813- Four 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 nine five eight eight, and it may be a problem with the weather here because I know we both have um, come off, and the system is trying to trying to reconnect. So we hope it will come back soon to our Facebook listeners. But remember, go to in dash touch news, and you'll be able to catch the show in its entirety. And if there's a question that you have, please, the doctor is in the house, so be sure and. Hey, dial that number, 813-444-9588. And she is going to begin to share with us additional information about, um, in our community, we have our own practitioners. We do. Well, you're back on online on Facebook. Okay. I don't think I am. But oh, again, right. in Touch News, we are there and yeah. we tag each other and then we'll do the um, post after the show as well. Okay, so yeah, so in speaking with me, um, the patient was able to convey what her thoughts were. She heard the education component that I add in the visit, and she's been very successful. So it was just a matter of understanding the disease state. Now, I'm good, and of course we do diabetes management, and we also do primary care, but there are other... um, (laughs) She said, I'm good. I'm great, actually. (laughs) I'm great, actually. It is what it is. It is what it is. Know your stuff. Yes. So as a nurse practitioner, I have to have a provider of protocol to have my own shingle. And my provider protocol is actually an endocrinologist. So what I don't awesome. know, what I, when I get into a little, you know, medical soup, when things are a little bit complex, I actually they have to be a lot of complex because I'm really that good. good. But my endocrinologist that I work with, her name is Dr. Lucia Gilling. Um, she hmm. looks just like you and I, but that's what's wonderful about um, the African diaspora. She's actually Panamanian. Um, okay. She speaks fluent Spanish, and she's in Wesley Chapel. So Dr. Lucia Gilling is an endocrinologist. In Let's give a shout out. Shout out to Dr. To Lucia, Dr. Lucia Gilling. It's Lucia. Lucia. Lucia Lucia Gilling. Uh Uh-huh. L-U-C-I-A. She's an endocrinologist in Wesley Chapel and um, Pasco County. She, um, like I said, is my provider of protocol and is an endocrinologist um, here locally. So also we have Dr. Tania Paquin Lozano. Um, She is town and country, a little bit west, um, actually a lot west Hillsboro. Okay. I partner with her um, quite a bit. She's an endocrinologist. She is, she's a highland. Um, And I think the um, motto down there is out of many come one. Um, Okay. She is um, Caribbean and she understands the food, the you know, the different types of She understands the culture. And she understands the culture. So when I do um, my community event in November, every November I do a a diabetes event because it's Diabetes Awareness Month, and I do that in East Tampa. Um, She has been a part of our panel for several years, and she is very uh, well-versed, obviously, because she's an endocrinologist in chronic disease management and everything that comes with diabetes. That's sugar, that's heart, that's cholesterol, et cetera. Um, But she's easy to talk to, very easy to talk to, and that's what patients need. And Do you have the date for November, or do you know your your location? Um, If not, we'll be able to come back and share it. Right, right, right. It's going to be at First Baptist Church of College here. Okay, that's where you had it last year. Yeah, or somewhere around there. Um, Okay. Our plan right now, we've getting a... our committee is getting a lot of um, requests for me to redo what we call the Soul Food Chefs Academy. So that's awesome. Um, a plan, a working 
plan right well, now? Well, hold that thought because um, I like the fact that um, you're doing multiple things and it's working when the community comes back and asks you to come and put this show on again. That's important. Mm -hmm. um, we're hearing from, from our producer letting us know that it's time for them to take a break yes. so that they can pay some bills as well. So we will be back after the commercial break right. and we'll continue talking about two phenomenal endocrinologists Actually, and giving you... Be three. I'm gonna give you... Oh, one, she's got another one, one coming. One Stand by. And we'll, <laughs> we'll bring that one when we come back. So Facebook family, for those of you that she's coming back on and mm -hmm. let me see what happened here. I'm Donald L. Dowridge Jr., your motivational guru. This is the DLD Motivational Moment. You got up this morning. You got up this morning. Eyes sneaking open as the feet hit the floor. Got to thank God for the rise this day. The stove perking the smell of nutrition. Get to your destination with planned unselfish acts. Bulletin board read, do you have any to spare? Happiness and understanding. We all have experienced that one phone call. Family member, co-worker, friend has passed on. We don't know our last evening or morning. Get up. Help someone out. Now walk it out. You got up this morning. This has been the DLD Motivational Moment. You can reach out to DLD at DLD28-2002 at yahoo.com or 813-394-5875. My name is Gil Sampson. I didn't come from a very rich family, and so paying for college would have been very tough. I don't know if I would have been able to go to the college that I went to, and then I don't know if I would have gotten into the career that I am in. So I think Bright Futures has done a lot to shape my life. I uh, got a job as a structural engineer, and I design residential buildings, commercial buildings all over the United States. Because of Bright Futures, I was able to go to college. You know, so many kids just don't even ever get that opportunity. And to be able to do it and not have any debt when I graduated is amazing. And it was all thanks to Bright Futures. Florida has created more than one million jobs in only five years, and a great education connects our students to these exciting opportunities. That's why the Florida Lottery has funded Bright Futures Scholarships to help over 725,000 students attend college. Because every play is for education. The Florida Lottery. Just imagine. It seems like the signal is going in and out. You may even hear our voices um, going in and out. But you will be able to catch the show in its entirety on n-touchnews.com. And so if you go in, and matter of fact, you can go there now and click on the um, the live button and you'll be able to, to see us and hear us. Again, the, the number is 813-444-9588, 813-444-9588. Right. I see that Dr. Davis is on live. Hello to those who are tuning in. My phone has not come back up yet, but because there's so much information that we have to share with you, keep it moving. there were two, she gave us two phenomenal doctors that look like us who are at the top of their field. She's about to add a third one when she's talking about um, diabetes and those complications. Mm -hmm. I love the way that she says, I'm great at what I do. <laughs> you know what? And if you're good at what you do, you're good at what you do. Indeed. Make no apologies for it. That's a God-given ability. So I was sharing that my provider of protocol is an endocrinologist, and that's um, the science of hormones. Right. And insulin is a hormone, and diabetes is a insulin deficiency syndrome. It's not a sugar problem. It's actually an insulin deficiency problem. So an endocrinologist is the diabetes care specialist. Oh, there's Facebook again. That's, that's okay. okay. We're here. In Touch News Radio online. So Dr. Lucia Gilling. There's Dr. Tanya Paquin Lozano, and she's in town and country. But there's also a Jamaican doctor. He is in, oh, yes, and then go to In Touch on Facebook, too. But right, Dr. you can see us, mm, catch us right now. But um, Dr. Andrew Henry is Jamaican, okay. and he's actually in Brandon. He's actually in Brandon. Um, 
92 so to you're 60. about to cover oh, all yeah. four points of us well, being able to well, find right, a specialist. Right, right. We need to be able to talk to people that um, look like us, yeah. um, if that's what you want, or someone who understands the culture that you um, embrace or the types of foods that you eat to let you know what your options are. We gotta stop going to healthcare providers and leaving with a bunch of information on what you can't do. You need to mm. leave with information on what you can do. So that's endocrinology. Sometimes there are other things that we want to do. We want to, um, you know, approach health in a more whole way. We want to have a provider that considers herbals or um, supplements or complementary and alternative medications and not look at us like, oh, my gosh, you, you like to have medicines from the bush. You know, bush tea can't fix everything. You know, certainly the, um, like I said, Dr. Gilling um, is... Panamanian, Dr. Paco Lozano is Caribbean, uh, Dr. Henry is Jamaican, but also there is um, doctors, that's plural, doctors Watson and Martha Ducatel. Okay. Yes. They own Healthy Bodies Medical and Dental, which is a concierge um, specialty holistic practice in Brandon as well. Shout out to Dr. Watson Ducatel and the beautiful wife, Dr. Martha Ducatel. She's hey, actually, we appreciate yes. you guys. I actually had a conversation with them last year. Really? So cool, oh, cool. A wonderful, wonderful couple. Young, too. So Very young. Been around a, a while. Um, Dr. Martha is a dentist. And Dr. Watson um, Ducatel is um, in internal medicine. So they see um, adults there. I'm not really sure about um, if she does kids dentistry, but just go over there. They're awesome. Check them out. Check yeah, them out. Yeah. And also healthybodies.com is the website. You can see them. You can get a, a little uh, more of an impression of what it is that they do there. Then there are those uh, women's and men's specialty <laughs> issues that you really don't want to talk to people um, about. You want to leave this at the doctor's office. You should talk more about it, though. The gynecologist is um, the doctor that, well, as an obstetrician, they help you deliver babies, can help you Correct. to achieve a pregnancy or to consider what has to be done in order to achieve a pregnancy. And from a gynecological standpoint, when we need to have our uh, women's exams, what's going on down there? Because not all, you know, families talk about, you know, those things. And it's important that you know your own anatomy, know what's normal, know what's not normal, how to treat it. Sometimes women do too much to that space down there and all kinds of consequences um, occur. Down when, here. And I just have to just put out there that vaginas are self-cleaning, but that's another show. So, um, Dr. <laughs> <laughs> you all should see our program. <laughs> Dr. I Elena um, Hardy Hunter, um, okay. Elanine, sorry, E L E A N I N E, Elanine Hardy, Hardy Hunter. She is in the um, um, in the Martin Luther King area. Her address is 3203 West Tampa Bay Boulevard. Um, she is an obstetrician and gynecologist, and um, I've actually heard very, very wonderful things about um, her. So she's African-American and um, takes time and connects with our patients in the way that we are discussing here. I think that's over near maybe St. Joseph's Hospital. It is over okay, great. St. Joseph's Hospital. It'll be a great transition for her. Um, Dr. Jeffrey Starling, he owns New Tampa Urology. Now, everything that we just talked about for women, men have their own specialty pelvis goings on doctor as doctor. well. And this would involve like prostate, erectile dysfunction, peeing too much, not peeing enough, enough. Um, getting up in the middle of the night. Do I need to have this check? Do I want to fix things? I want to stop having children, vasectomies, etc. Dr. Jeffrey Starling is actually a Tampa native. So, awesome. Um, when we get to mid-Florida on south, you find a lot of transplants, uh, people who come to Florida for this, that, and the other. It's a rare find to have a professional that was born and raised here. Went away. In this profession, too. Well, exactly, in this profession. But he went to University of Florida. Okay, and shut he, up. Yeah, um, and he's a surgeon, so he does the prostate um, procedures. He does the vasectomies. He does the <laughs> And that, <laughs> that was your yes, shout out, Dr. Starling. That was a shout out to Dr. <laughs> Starling, Dr. Jeffrey Starling. He's an awesome, awesome guy. He has a wonderful and a beautiful office at um, 
Primrose Lake Circle. It's in North Tampa, and hey. um, it's 5332 Primrose Lake Circle. And you can find more information on him at NewTampaUrology.com. The, um, I'd start talking about holistic um, care, healthy bodies and um and healthy um, in your best youth. Of course, we do that. Um, that was Dr. Ducatel and myself. Um, but I also want to give a shout out to Dr. Faith. Felder. Yes. Hey, Dr. Faith. Hey, Dr. Faith. Yes, she's been around a while. She's another one that um, you swear she was like 19, 22. I know. And she catches ago. the show, too. Oh, that's awesome. That's yes, so awesome. yes. We appreciate your support. Yes. Dr. Faith is um, very good. She listens. Um, she's holistic in her approach. She tells it like it is. She meets you where you are, you are. Um, in terms of how you're able to convey your thoughts and your feelings with your health care provider. There's no judgment there. Um, she is a wealth of knowledge. Um, internal medicine um, provider. She is also um, um, close to St. Joseph's Hospital. It's um, right. 4144 North Armenia um, Avenue is where you can find her. Um, again, she is a um, African-American provider. She's been around um, a while. You swear she just kind of, you know, keeps her um, water filled with something from St. Augustine's <laughs> Fountain of Youth. But um, she's she's a very good Jack her um, out, provider. males and females. That's, absolutely. That takes a very holistic um, approach to care. Um, there's also Dr. Agnes Ubani. Um, beautiful, beautiful um, Nigerian um, yes. um, health care provider. Um, internal medicine. She owns Windsor Medical, and um, her practice is 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 very diverse. There's a pharmacy there. Yes. Um, she's recently started to do um, uh, what I think is, is cool sculpting. So for some Ooh. of those cosmetic, um, you know, body things that you want done, um, Dr. Ubani is also um, ever young, um, the biggest, most beautiful smile you ever see. And she has like a, a basketball team of children, and I don't know when she <laughs> has time to have them because, um, again, she has um, a practice in Temple Terrace. There are um, um, just other locations that she has, and she also has a team of healthcare providers. So um, you can, you know, make an appointment with her or someone in her team. And she does a lot of she, outreach. I met her years yes, ago. Yes, yes, she is just a, a fabulous um, person. The um, other uh, primary care providers that I really want to highlight um, here are um, a couple of my mentors. Um, there's Dr. Rosemary Latortu of um, 30th Street Medical Associates. She is in the Bush Gardens area. Okay. Um, she is the wife. She's Haitian, so also sees a lot of Caribbean patients and understands the needs and speaks Creole. She um, is the late, um, well, she's the widow of Dr. Uh, Patrick Watson. He passed away in um, October, November of 2014. Um, a very fabulous um, position and had lots of patients here in the Tampa <coughs> um, area, but she's kept the practice um, going at 30th Street um, Medical Associates. And again, she um, speaks Creole and she's Caribbean, so a very culturally sensitive um, healthcare provider she is. Then there's Dr. Oleinka Bancoli, um, another mentor of mine. Shout out to um, he and Miss Lola, um, um, the office manager. There's a lot of tag team teamers going on yeah, here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We don't burn bridges. We keep it, you know, um, open because sometimes people know things that you don't. And you have to ask questions. Uh, Dr. Bancoli is one of the first physicians that I knew that engaged in the practice of functional medicine. Now, what's functional, functional medicine? medicine? Functional Break medicine. Break that down. Exactly. Functional medicine is when you consider alternative ways of managing health conditions ahead of using pharmaceutical um, agents. So uh, with functional medicine and this whole... Well, you're going to have to break that down, and we don't want to miss a single point. Yeah, so absolutely. what we'll so do I'm is break, <laughs> we'll break for commercial and Indeed. come back and talk about functional, functional medicine. medicine. Yes. So thank you all for, for tuning in. You're here with us. Let's Talk Business with SJC. My co-host, Dr. Shanae Davis, and she is blessing us with a plethora of healthcare providers with hues just like ours and understand what we're going through. We'll see you back after the commercial break.
Jr., your motivational guru. This is the DLD Motivational Moment. One darn second. America since 2017 is suffering from a serious hiccup. 9-11 is seriously overused in a distasteful manner. Every day the cops are calling on an innocent, innocent person of color. It amazes me that America has come down to this. A person of color becomes a person of interest. Waffle House, the dorm, Starbucks is a few. This is not the lunch counters, sit-ins of the 1960s. 2019, harassed simply for being black and proud. Hold on one darn second. This has been the DLD Motivational Moment. Pre-order my new book, Motivational Moments, at DLD28-2002 at yahoo.com or 813-394-5875. Hi, this is Dale Day. Join me every Monday at 7 p.m. for Jazz at Miss Connie's House, bringing you the smoothest jazz and the coolest guests right here on In Touch Radio. Hi, this is Trina Johnson with Caldwell Banker Real Estate, the real estate agent you've been looking for. If you want top dollar for your home or you're looking to make a purchase, call me at 813 813- 244-6953. Again, 813-244-6953 and let me list your home. And look, Facebook is trying to come back, y'all. Trying. So we're we're trying. But it's okay. The show goes on because you can see it in its entirety. You can go straight to In Touch News um, and you'll be able to catch the show live since we are drifting in and out. But for some reason, the station, certainly because of of what they have here um, and in this building and the protection that they have, they're able to be live and stay live. And so you have heard Dr. Davis call out some phenomenal medical practitioners we're still hearing the music playing, so I hope you all can hear us. <laughs> the last we're good because we're live. We're, we're live, live on Facebook. So we spoke last about functional medicine. Yeah, functional. And you were breaking down what that what means. What is functional medicine? Well, functional medicine considers um, the whole person, of course, but it also considers other ways to manage um, chronic um, and some even acute um, conditions without a prescription. You may have gone to one of your healthcare providers and um, they may have recommended to you increase a vitamin. And functional medicine um, considers those things. What is the role of vitamin deficiency in your ability to fight off um, illness, to remain um, healthy? Um, would just replacing your vitamins um, improve your state of health? If you have fatigue, if you um, have anemia, if you are borderline on your cholesterol, is there anything that I can take besides a statin medication? Are there things that I can take to decrease systemic inflammation? Most people don't realize that chronic disease, um, you know, diabetes and um, um, cholesterol problems and um, heart, disease heart disease generally comes with a degree of infl- inflammation that goes on in the blood vessels, and that's what um, increases your risk for clotting and um, narrows the um, right. lumen or the space that blood has to flow through in blood vessels. And just fixing those um, those very small things um, improve your, your quality of life and your um, immune um, robustness, the robustness of your um, immune system. There are medicines that sort of clean up free radicals in your body. Um, a free radical is um, the stuff that sort of um, causes the inflammation that I'm talking about. You've heard of antioxidants. Right. Um, when you have a whole bunch of sugar, you know, in your body, let's say you have soda and chips and a bunch of trans this and that in your in your in your daily diet, you eat out the vending machine. Yeah, that 3 o'clock, we, we think it's a sugar <laughs> yeah, rush. I'll yeah. call it a sugar rush. So um, when sugar is concentrated in your body and really anywhere else, it oxidizes. And 
that word doesn't mean a whole lot to people, but rust. Well, think about what it does to your vehicle. You mentioned that earlier. Yeah, rust is oxidation. This mm-hmm. is when iron and water get together. That's that right. Rusting is oxidation. When you cook sugar for a long time and it makes caramel, that's oxidation. oxidation. You've so, rusted that sugar. Exactly. So when you um, have this bunch of sugar in, in your body, and your body has a higher temperature than, um, you know, the environment, yeah, oxidation is um, taking place. So some... Um, particularly phytonutrients, um, some plant-based nutrients, some green teas, and um, you've heard of acai berries. Yes. um, Some vitamin D and vitamin C. Those things have antioxidating properties, and that's how um, these free radicals are cleaned up in our bodies. Now, why are free radicals bad? It um, takes away the um, collagen that keeps you from wrinkling. It can change the way cells um, grow and divide and increase your risk for cancer. It can cause swelling on the inside of your colon. Um, And sometimes people have these um, inflammatory bowel diseases and um, Crohn's and, and problems with their frequency of the bowel movements and even the quality of the bowel movements. Um, so, you know, sometimes it comes out as a nice package as it should, and other times it's like a ribbon or all water or. That's right. We want that like S and that C curve. Okay. <laughs> well, you know, or even. That's what like, I look for. <laughs> so that makes it a right. A snake. That yeah, it makes it, it right. right. Or, or like little you know, right here. beans or peas. But anyway, still <laughs> color and quality and all those things are, are, are really important. And um, taking care of your intake um, can help you have a good um, stool consistency pattern and quality. The functional medicine um, provider makes recommendations on how to keep you functioning in a very whole and normal um, way that doesn't always contain um, a pers- or include a prescription. A prescription. Now, do they also Detox work with other like providers that. with with traditional medical providers as sometimes, well? Sometimes, sometimes, sometimes they do. Sometimes they uh, will make a recommendation to an acupuncturist or to a Oh, Lord, I hate I'm saying this, but a chiropractor, that's sometimes in the mix um, as well. Um, But again, it just doesn't include a prescription always. Okay. Yeah, so those things are um, important um, to know about a functional medical provider. But Dr. Bancoli doesn't do all functional medicine. He um, does practice standard medicine. Um, Great, well, and, and that makes it the, even better. Is in the um, well, not standard medicine, but Western medicine, and he's in the St. Joseph's area off Armenia. Now, in terms of specialists, I want to get back to them. Dr. Jawan Ayer Cole. I don't think I've ever. Yes. Yes. I don't think I've ever um, known. That's just because that's not my circle, I guess. Uh, but a black oncologist, hematologist. Yes. She's awesome. I was at FAMU when um, her husband, James Cole. Yes, also, uh, yes. Um, Shout out Stanford. to the Coles. Yes. Hey, James. Um, when hey, he, Dr. Cole. Yeah, when he, when he proposed to her. And um, she, you know, when James came back here and her practice also has been um, thriving. So she is a hematologist, yes. oncologist. A hematologist is a blood doctor. Correct. Um, essentially. And where there is anemia that you can't explain, or um, like a leukemia or things that, you know, go on with your platelet count or your other types of cells in in the blood, she will help you figure um, that out. So, uh, And and a a shout out to to her as well, because I remember when she first came here Mm -hmm. and we had a long conversation and she was um, she was impressed with the with the black pages and she was wanting to um, she's a she's a great supporter of, of black businesses. I uh-huh. mean, she practices what she preaches yes. and she's very, very involved um, in the community. She was on this campus twice here just um, recently. That's just how involved she is, mm-hmm. not to mention with um, AXO and the NAACP. So shout out to you and what you do. But if it's blood related, that, that's your girl. She is um, very bright, very bright. Wake Forest, I believe, is um, where um, she was educated. These next three providers are gastroenterologists. And we had a long discussion on colon cancer awareness yes, we did. Um, month, and we went through the anatomy of the colon. All the way down to you got stuck in the sigmoid. Stuck in the sigmoid. <laughs> 
<laughs> we did. But this is what people pick up. I told right, you we had right. somebody call it in and say, I'll remember that now. <laughs> um, Dr. Emmanuel Mompey, he is um, sort of central North Tampa, close to the USF um, um, area. Um, also, there's Dr. Eugene um, Ward. He is um, also um, in that in that area. Dr. Mompey is a little further north than um, Dr. Eugene Ward. Both of these are African American um, men, been around for a long time. Yes. Very. Um, no, Dr. Ward. Shout out, hey, to both of you. Yeah. Um, very um, gentle um, with their patients and speak to them and meet you where you are in terms of your understanding of what's going on. People know that they should have a colonoscopy about every five to 10 years. Um, but there are other things that gastroenterologists do. For example, your. Um, liver is in that system mm -hmm. and with baby boomers aging um, these um, patients are now recommended by the CDC if you're in the baby boomer age category I think that is um, um, 1950s to maybe 65 40 49 to 65 somewhere in that just range if you know your born. age yeah just know just know your age and how you're um, classified but baby boomers are now recommended to be screened for hepatitis um, C just because when you were growing up in your heyday, that's when um, heroin and IV drug use mm -hmm. was a big deal. But hep C is also um, um, sexually transmitted. So it can lie in your body dormant and inactive and you pass it along and not even know it. And um, it can emerge one day and you need a new liver. And it's better to screen and be treated because they have um, a 12-week you know, pill that you can take in and take care of that so you don't have to deal with the consequences of hepatitis. And a gastroenterologist is the doctor to help you through that process and answer your questions regarding those things. All right. Very, very important. Yeah. And that's a very important tip for our baby boomers. So that's, she's talking to us. So let's make sure we are, we're getting these, taking advantage of these tips and taking action and putting feet with what we're hearing you say today. This third um, gastroenterologist, gastroenterologist that I want to um, bring up, when I learned of her, her, I said, get out of here, really? There's a female. Two to one. Yeah, a female African-American gastroenterologist. Love it. Yes. Shout out to the only female that we <laughs> She's the only one There that you I'm go. She's the only one that I'm shouting out um, today. But Dr. Donald... Donna Powell is a DO, um, not an MD, but a DO. An osteopathic doctor is trained to oh. take a more holistic approach to care. And she's actually in a South Tampa um, practice that sees and um, has within the practice all women. Wow. An all women practice. Ladies? And, and, and they treat just women. So for those unique questions, for those that feel just comfortable working with women, um, this may be a good space for you. But Dr. Powell is at um, 5016 West Cypress Street and, um, in, South, in South Tampa. And for um, um, us now, I call it, you know, us, I'm telling my age for real now, Lord have mercy. Don't beat me up, Cheryl. That's her. Yeah, this Generation X group of us. We were, oh, baby boomer. We were accustomed to thinking of 50 as the time to get our first screening for Correct. colon cancer. I'm glad you brought that up. That was yeah. one of my questions. The guidelines have actually changed because we are doing more, involved in more, engaged in more, and not necessarily checking our mm -hmm. health more. They're finding more aggressive forms of colon cancer in younger people. Therefore, the guidelines have been um, made. Uh, the recommendation is now made that we get screened first time at age 45. So talk to your health care provider about if it's appropriate for you to be screened um, now at 45 or a little bit sooner based on what's going on um, for you because we're finding um, tougher to treat um, disease states in younger people. So All right. That's that's two of our aging categories. Gastroenterologists that we've highlighted. We have three 
plus me, holistic um, practitioners, <laughs> um, and Dr. Ben Coley, Dr. Faith, and um, the Ducatel practice, and of course, Your Best You. We have three endocrinologists. We have um, a black OBGYN. We have a black um, urologist. And for whatever reason, you end up with complications of diabetes or um, blood pressure problems that your kidneys go down. We also have a black nephrologist okay and in the same office with dr ward because it's his wife woohoo is dr denise alvarenga and again this is um near usf on um 3450 east fletcher avenue so dr denise alvarenga is a nephrologist a kidney doctor and a kidney doctor is sometimes needed if you um, have had diabetes for a long time and you're spilling out protein, um, that could speak to the health of the kidneys. If you've had high blood pressure and in your urine, there's not anything that you can see or anything that you can feel when you avoid, but you're spilling out protein, right. it's an indicator of um, kidney health. Uh, sometimes if we also have been on um, NSAIDs or um, stuff for headaches for a long time, we gotta get our kidneys checked out with that too. So with that said, we're well, gonna go on to our break and um, we'll summarize our doctors um, again on follow-up. Join us after the break. Let's talk business with SJC in the house, Dr. Shanae Davis. Girl, you were calling out some health practitioners. This is Linda Archie with Taiyu Temple United Methodist Church. Join us every first and third Saturday of the month at the Village Market East Tampa, 3206 North Sanchez Street. Free parking, free admission, fresh produce, live entertainment, vendor shopping, and delicious cooked food. Join us every first and third Saturday of the month, beginning June 22nd. For vendor information, call me, 1-888-991-2502. See our ad in In Touch News or Florida Sentinel. Please call me at 1-888-991-2502. The Village Market at East Tampa, 3206 North Sanchez Street. Been in a car crash? Call Ricky. Don't know what to do? Ask Ricky. We will connect you with a lawyer and doctor experience in auto accident injuries. Call Ricky at 844-361-7425. After an auto accident, you have 14 days to seek medical attention. You may be in pain. So call Ricky. Ask Ricky for your best options. 844-361-7425. Call Ricky. Ask Ricky is a legal and medical referral service. The lawyers in our network pay to receive referrals. Going over recapping our list to make sure that we have found healthcare practitioners practitioners that look like us and you and understand us, understand what we're going through. Dr. Davis brought an amazing list of practitioners, and we were looking at some of them that are also our advertisers in DSI Black Pages, and there are others that we certainly want to add because we want to have a full group. And want to introduce you to a few more as we reach the last quarter hour of our second hour show. Let's talk business with SJC. We're here with my co-host, Dr. Shanae Davis. Whoop, whoop, here I am. Whoop, whoop. She's in the <laughs> house. And what you're giving is, I mean, this is a tape that we'll have to keep. So as individuals are saying, did you all catch the name of that doctor that she talked about? Oh, my gosh. We've got an African-American that's a gastroenterologist or or anyone or a female. And then the the practice in South Tampa. Mm -hmm. I'm taking notes because I've got to go and research some for myself. Awesome. That's what we do. When you know better. We don't have to take a tour around the medical practitioners. When we know better, we do better. We do. We do. And you are using this platform at, at its greatest rate and its greatest state to, to be able to share this type of information. I don't know that I've had in one setting so many African-American doctors nope, who, are in, who are in almost all of the major specialties. Yeah, yeah. So there's no excuse. You can find one. There's no excuse. We can find And so one. you've compiled um, a great list. Now, is this part of um, my the referral network? Is it part of your referral network or is it? Okay. All right. Mm -hmm. Great. Great. So in the event we are not able to list them all and we're going to do our best, then go to the referral network. 
Indeed, indeed. I'm happy to, um, you know, give this information. Um, you can find me at 15511 North Florida yes, Avenue. And um, it's your best you. This is your best you, exactly. And the number at my practice is 813-936-2609. And you can find me online at ybyclinic.com. So I am available. My practice is available. The other thing that we've um, begun to do in our practice, and um, Derek, he is the CEO here um, yes. at FAP at 5508. Um, Mr. Um, Blue, and shout out to Shout out to and, Mr. Blue. Oh my has gosh, a lot a going on. Fabulous Melanie, his wife. I love her so, so much. Great energy. Hey, but, Lady um, Mel. <laughs> but we are um, collaborating with. Um, FAP to um, expand on that health education component of what we do at Your Best You for patients that have patients that have um, um, HIV or high risk for developing HIV. We have started to um, prescribe PrEP for that cohort of patients. Um, HIV is mostly preventable with um, safe practice and with vigilance and your best you is a wellness um, center that we can have this discussion and do so in a way that um, is absent some of the stigma that's associated with um, other clinics lots of times you know we may not seek the care because we are ashamed of what someone may think Mm -hmm. or that someone may see us. And Your Best You is an opportunity to have um, discreet care in a wellness um, center with a a beautiful lotus flower on the door. (laughs) But no, seriously, we can um, help answer some of those questions and educate um, when it comes to um, those risks. And um, in some cases, they can actually even get the medicines and and treatment at no cost to them. So with that level of health education, with those service um, provisions, uh, we've partnered with THAP. Yes. And um, Derek um, Blue and his team. And we are um, so happy to be able to provide those new services. And that's awesome. And so we had them on the show um, last month. And so we're going to do part two and have them back on the show to, to talk more about that and what they're doing um, in the community and how, how those individuals can get involved. And you mentioned um, that, you know, you're part of this, 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 this initiative, um, but then your office is just so friendly to taking care of all patients' needs. Indeed. That, Indeed. And, and, and making them feel um, making them feel comfortable. So glad you've partnered with the FAP group. Well, FAP is a good group to we partner with. We are family. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. That's why we're here um, in Touch News. That's why there are um, over 30 businesses here. Come out and, and learn who they are and, and what's housed right here at 5508. All righty then. So what else is new? Well, what else is new? We wanted to hear a few more of, of the doctors that you have on your list and then, so we wanted to give a shout out to the Family Dental Boutique. Um, shout out to Dr. Nathalia Fort, Dr. Nathalia Jeffries Fort. And this is another tag team. Uh-huh. Her husband is an oral surgeon, okay. Dr. Kenyon Fort. And um, he's at his practice. It was Fort Oral um, and Maxillofacial Surgery. And now it's, um, I believe it's called the St. Pete um, but it's a St. Pete um, oral surgery, and so they take care of, of your needs, and I love the way they can tag team together. Um, long-term supporters of DSI Black Pages, and one of our advertisers that's been with us for over, and this is, you can give them a shout-out, Stefan, over, over 20-plus years, and um, now it's Tomlinson Dental, uh-huh. but Dr. Angela Tomlinson, and with her practice, her daughter has joined her now. So there are three specialists in her practice, and she's kind of like going towards um, West Tampa off of um, ML King on, on Boulevard. Hey, Facebook family, we, hey, didn't, Facebook. Get a, we didn't get a lot um, of time to say hello to you all, but you know that we do appreciate you coming. We'll wave back to those that we can We appreciate you taking your lunch break to hear all of this phenomenal information that we will try to provide to you after the show when we do our thank you post. Um, But these are practitioners that's been here. Oh, another one that's right around the corner. And um, Dr. Dr. T. Merrill Williams. Okay. Yes. Yes. yes, yes. Phenomenal practice. Phenomenal practice. People get so afraid of the dentist. 
but they've made it to where when you come in, you, you feel so comfortable. And by the time they finish talking to you, your mind is totally off of why you came there in the first place. And, and all of these practitioners are very, very good with that. And so we're putting this information out. You have choices. You have so many choices. It doesn't matter what side of the bay you live on. Mm-hmm. They're there. But you can choose your own. You can. You can choose someone that looks like you. And and we appreciate that. And, and that's what we're talking about. National Black Business Month. Every day we've been giving you that. We've been on the air um, giving you ways. And that's what those hashtag 31 ways. We're giving you the names of these businesses that you can support. We're giving you the names today of, oh my gosh, a myriad of businesses of in the medical field that you can go and support as well. So it's 31 ways over the course of the next 31 days. National Black Business Month will culminate on Saturday right here at 5508 where we're inviting the community to come out, support the businesses that are here on campus and those that we have invited to be on campus. Indeed. And then they'll get to see the unveiling of the cover of the new 19 well actually we're now 20 this 2020, will be 20 if it's 2020 coming yeah but this one is coming out at the end of the month and then we have a new initiative that we're going to introduce so when you're looking for this entire list of black businesses that you're calling out you'll just be able to go right to your phone oh wow and tap, you'll be able to swipe to the right to learn about dr davis or swipe to the left to see what her practice looks like whoop, whoop. i love it i love it i love it so all of that's coming down the pipeline so here on the campus of 5508, the culmination of National Black Business Month. Make sure you're at 5508 so that you can learn more about the businesses we've talked about today, see what's coming out or the unveiling of the cover of DSI Black Pages. Is there a cost to attend? No, it's free to the community. It's free to the community. If you want to be in, there's a $31 fee. See how it is? Oh, wow. 31 31 31 And what's that date again? And then we're asking you to bring $31 and spend or pay it forward or donate it to a nonprofit. Do we have a date yet? August the 31st. August the 31st. Right 31. 31. Yes. 31. 831. Yes. Each year we do this to bring um, awareness to National Black Business Month. So you are hear commercials, um, but it's just all about supporting our on- Final thoughts. This is the quickest hour ever. I know it, right? So final thoughts is that it's more important. Uh, we'd love if you see, you know, a, a black health care provider support in support of black, National Black Business Awareness yes. Month. But it's more important that you just be seen by a provider and you get a, an impression of what's up with you. And if there's a baseline set of whatever blood work or you know blood pressure or whatever when you do feel like you need to see a doctor there's something to compare it to so get checked out um see get a healthcare out. provider see a healthcare provider your best you, you. your best you personalized primary and diabetes specialty care we're a full service primary practice located at 15511 north florida avenue suite 502 and you can call us at 813-936-2609 or meet us online at ybyclinic.com i love the show hey facebook family thank you so much for tuning in you'll hear more about it and be sure to mark your calendar august the 31st 11 31 right here on the 5508 campus celebrating the culmination of national black business month 31 ways in 31 days spend 31 plus dollars your way with a black owned business Thank you, Cheryl. Signing off. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.